So we are here at Cromani Brothers in North Versailles to see JD Vance. And Cromani's hates money. They just lost about two grand worth of money because they said if Vance gets out of the vehicle that he's in, which is right here, then they will call the police. Hello, everybody. I have to do a follow-up story. If you didn't see the video that I did a couple of days ago on this sandwich place that's, I guess, predominantly on the East Coast, but you let me know because I'm on the West Coast. I've never heard of these guys, Primanti Brothers. So I shared footage of restauranters, people who are actually patronizing the uh, sandwich restaurant in Pittsburgh who uh, left the restaurant because the owner or the manager or whoever of that uh, particular Primanti Brothers said that if, and you saw it in the video earlier, that if J.D. Vance uh, comes in, they were going to call the police and he was basically essentially denied service, told point blank, we are going to deny you service. J.D. Vance was the bigger person. He said, not a problem, no big deal. He paid for everybody's tab. He talked to people in the parking lot. He even said, which I think is so big of him, that uh, do not denounce this restaurant. Don't give them a hard time. She just got a little nervous, et cetera, et cetera. And then Primanti Brothers put out this statement. I'll show you in a second. But apparently, there's a lot more to this story. So if you can see what um, is on your screen right here, back in August, August 19th, as a matter of fact, it seems that there was a huge controversy where Kamala Harris, who was essentially ousted uh, President Biden at this point, was kicking out Trump supporters so that she could install a favorable crowd. And Primanti Brothers actually put it all together for her. And she conducted this you know, campaign stunt as if she's some kind of a normal human being, which we all know she isn't where she's, you know, taking these fake photo ops. She's got a lot of fake photo ops of her greeting and talking to customers, making it seem like she just happened to stop by. And I'm just so amiable and folksy that I could walk up to people to their dining table and say, hi, how you doing? I'm Kamala Harris. You want to talk about weirdos. There is absolutely nothing genuine about this cretin comrade Kamala. Then Primanti Brothers put out this statement after all the controversy, which my video as well was included in that controversy. And there was a lot of people saying Primanti Brothers just committed a Bud Light moment. This is their Bud Light moment. There's huge, there's this huge boycott uh, for Primanti Brothers. They put out this statement, Primanti prides itself on being a staple of the Pittsburgh community and a proud American business that has hosted sitting presidents, politicians, and political candidates from across the spectrum for over 90 years. Our doors are open to all patrons who wish to dine with us. Without any advance notice, today's campaign stuff caused some momentary confusion for our staff. However, Senator Vance and his team were welcomed into our restaurant shortly after and engaged with our guests inside and on the property. Senator Vance's supportive comments that our managers got a little nervous given the Secret Service police and crowd accurately reflect the nature of what occurred, and we are glad that it was resolved quickly. Not so fast, Primanti Brothers. This is attorney Scott Logue, who was actually recording at the event, and he issued this video, recorded this video right after and talked about the controversy that really, in, in my view, contradicts everything that Primanti Brothers said in their statement. Listen to this and then come on back. Hey, this is Chairman Logue. Um, I'm like right by the Primanti Brothers uh, near McKeesport. Uh, I wanted to document what happened because there's some confusion about, uh, about exactly what took place. Long story short, uh, a whole bunch of people from Allegheny County, myself, Others, uh, we got two Primanti Brothers about 12:45. They let us in. You know, half the people are dressed in Trump gear. Half the people, you know, are dressed normally. Uh, we all sit down. We order food. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Primanti Brothers opened up early to get us in. So there's like no surprises that um, there's no surprises that uh, we're all here to see JD Vance. Uh, JD Vance's SUV pulls up. We're all excited. Security cordons off the uh, the parking lot. Uh, where Vance pulled up at. Uh, Vance pulls up. Secret Service comes into the restaurant. Secret Service, uh, like like guards the like the area between the SUV and the entrance to the restaurant. JD Vance, um, he gets out, and then 
the manager runs out and yells at him and says, you can't come in here. So then Vance has a guy from the senator's office who pulled her aside. She's on the phone with, with corporate headquarters. Corporate headquarters tells her he's not allowed in for Manny Brothers. He's banned. So so now I'm in the restaurant while all this is going on, and people are coming in like who were outside explaining like what happened. And so I offer to I don't know what this guy's talking to me about. So I offer as I'm a criminal defense lawyer, uh, I offer to uh, I say, hey, I said they can call the police. I said, but but there's no trespass, it's a public place. Um, Vance's people then to go, go and like start negotiating with this manager who has him banned. All of us we're, we're pissed off. I, I see that there's an obvious um, you know news event. So I start filming right away because I don't want I don't want you know the crime party and fake news to come out and say, oh no, JD wasn't really banned it, banned. it was just a miscommunication or, or it was just done for safety. No, he was banned. The manager banned him and she called her supervisors. And the supervisors banned him as well. Like, he was banned. Um, I'm going to slide over here because this, this goofball keeps honking his horn. Anyway, um, so uh, we're all upset. Uh, Vance, one of his people, instructs uh, another person to, um, um, to take down everybody's names and numbers. And, and, and when Vance comes back to town... You know he'll meet with us again because you know we, he went out of out of his way to come and meet with us this this time and, and and we couldn't do it. So then Vance gets back in his SUV. He's hanging out there. There's still negotiations going on. Everyone's upset. And then Vance uh, just basically says, "Screw it, I'm going to go and, and get photographed." And then Vance gets out of his SUV and uh, he starts taking photographs with everybody. Uh, he's very nice. I spoke to him about Charleroi. I said, "Listen, you got to come to Charleroi." I said, "We just." had an event with Dave McCormick. You should see what's going on with uh, these plants that are, that are shutting down and nobody cares. Uh, he, he directed me to an aide. I, I gave the aide the information. He seemed interested. I, I, I know people want to get in and out, get photographs in and out. So I wanted to like walk away, but Vance kept me with him for another 30 seconds because he wanted to hear about Charleroi. Uh, so we'll see what we can do with Vance and Charleroi in the, in the near future. But uh, he stuck around. He was very nice. Then, in, in a, an act of defiance, he went into Permandy Brothers, paid the bill for everybody, uh, and then came out and was a gentleman about everything, and then left. So, friends, like I'm, I'm very, very sad to say that this this restaurant that I've been going to since I was a kid. I remember what a big deal it was. Like, like when, when I turned 16 to to drive down to Permandy Brothers in in the Strip District for the first time. You know what a big deal it was to do that. You know, it's like it's like it's like it's over. It's like shattered. It's like it's just horrible. You know, when I lived in Mount Lebanon, I had a condo right next to the Permanente Brothers in Mount Lebanon on purpose because I like going there for sports and 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 their sandwiches. I currently live right by the Permanente Brothers in North Germain, and um, never again. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I will talk to the Washington Republican Committee about what we should do about. Uh, Permani Brothers boycott of uh, of JD Vance. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> so the reason why this is extra bad is because um, they let Kamala Harris film a staged event in Moon Township. So she had like like vans full of of, of fake people, people like from like out of the area. They pulled in. Um, uh, and filled up Permani Brothers, and then she came and did a photo op, and uh, they let her do that. But this Permani Brothers has banned JD Vance. Highly, highly credible source there, uh, criminal defense attorney again, uh, who's a local there. I love him when he talked about, you know, I don't, I've never heard of this place, so it must be an East Coast thing. Maybe it's kind of like the sort of equivalent to how West Coasters feel about In and Out. I don't know. Let me know if you've tried them, you like them. But the key takeaways from that video are. That the manager knew that they this was a, a an event that was planned. It was premeditated. It was obvious that the patrons who uh, were there were excited, and there was anticipation that JD Vance was coming. And the manager literally, physically stopped JD Vance from coming in. And the fact that this eyewitness, key eyewitness, a criminal defense attorney, said he overheard the manager calling headquarters and headquarters saying directly to the manager that he is banned 
and the and the sort of politicalization of this entire controversy it just comes to light it comes at a full head and it makes it abundantly clear that that statement by the Primanti brothers earlier is in direct contradiction to what this key eyewitness somebody who i think is highly credible and contains ethos says they witnessed first hand at the actual event and he's not the only one there's many other witnesses who say the exact same thing so have, what is happening to our country, America, where you can't even go to your favorite little s mom and pop sports bar? I know it's a corporate place, but it kind of has that feel. Like, you can't even go to your favorite sandwich place anymore without the politicalization just permeating everything and causing disruption. Whatever happened to just, just do your thing? It's the same thing we're seeing with all these whack job uh, celebrities and Mark Cuban and business leaders, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, just shut up and just stay in your lane and just, you know, stop trying to divide everybody. I guess there's a reason why maybe they call this party the most divisive party of all time and why a lot of people, myself included, would add the moniker divider in chief to former President Obama. It seems like ever since 2008, 2016, this has been going on and been sort of festering, and now it's just, I can't believe it's invading our favorite little sports bar sandwich places. Give me a break. So eyewitness, key witness who was there firsthand, thank you so much, attorney, um, let me get his uh, exact name here, Sean Logue, attorney Sean Logue. If you're watching this or listening to this, please uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. I appreciate your firsthand testimony. I want to hear from you. Oh my God. I can't wait to hear your comments on this. Let me know in the comments down below. Was their apology and their statement sincere? You heard what he said, and I even showed you footage about Kamala actually kicking out Trump supporters and essentially putting on a production, an entire staged event. He confirmed that that actually happened. He also confirmed that that specific county seems to be uh, far left leaning. I want to hear from you. What do you guys think? Is Permanti Brothers legit or is this another Bud Light moment? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out these videos coming up on the screen right here. Subscribe and follow over there. I'm going to leave in the pinned comment the debate between the only debate between um, JD Vance and Tim, Tampon Tim. I'm going to leave a link to that in the comments down below. We're going live. If you're seeing this after the fact, you got to watch the replay. It'll be on fire. As always, may God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.